Okay, welcome to my first tutorial on basically anything. And I'm going to be showing you how to take this picture of a foot, well, not this exact picture, but a picture taken on Forza 3 or any picture for that matter. But I think this is a good picture to show you and how to turn it into a picture like this, which is basically the same picture converted to look like it was taken at night time. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to open your picture up in Photoshop and then create a layer from the background and duplicate it just in case you make a mistake. So then you're going to want to get rid of the f logo at the bottom. This is if you're on Forza 3 for example. So on CS4, on Photoshop CS4, you would get the rubber stamp tool, I'll click to define the source and you could mask it yourself or on Photoshop CS5 you could use the polygon select tool uh, edit and fill it, fill it using content aware and it will get rid of it for you and I might as well just use this because get rid of some of the blur effects okay I think that that'll do. That looks fine. So you're going to want to separate the background of the picture from the actual car, so you can change that to delete the background. So this is where you need to decide what background you're going to have. I found this one, which is something from BT and Z files. It's a WordPress blah 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 whatever. So pick. A File picture that you want to use in your picture and get it into Photoshop. Now line the background that you want up with the background that you want of the photo, like so. Take it in front. So now you have the background ready. So just to check what it looks like, you can do a rough rubbing out to check to see if it, it looks like what you want. That looks that looks good to me. So I'm probably gonna yep, I'm gonna stick with that. So to neaten it up now you're gonna want one or two pixel feather and you're gonna go round the actual car itself. Now this does have to be quite neat. You could use the colour range select tool, but sometimes it can get you pretty nasty results if you don't know what you're doing, which I don't, so do this as neat as you possibly can. Uh, tricky things like aerials, if you've got a, a feather on, you're going to want to go quite inside it. And this will probably look the worst part of the picture, but I end up just rubbing it all out. And, and down to the bottom of the picture. And now it's on. Fill. The fill is on to content aware, if you remember. So if we put black opacity. Okay, so now we have the outline of the car. Okay, and you're going to want to merge those layers together. So now you have. Well, that actually looks quite good on by itself. But to fix it, to make it look more realistic, you're going to want to change the contrast on this image. So that's edit. Image, sorry, adjustments. Brightness of the contrast. If you take the contrast up to full, take the brightness down, you can get it to look like it was taken at a darker time of the day. You could leave it as it is like that, or you could try and be really clever. And on the side of the car here, we could put a reflection of, well, whatever's behind it. So in this case, it's these buildings. So we're going to want to use buildings that aren't quite obvious. So you won't be able to see these buildings when the car's there. So we can use this to make the reflection of the car. So if we select these and put them there and get the car back. Okay, so we're going to line these up. So that's edit, transform, and you're going to skew it. So what we want to do here is to line up the reflection with the car, the actual body of the car like that and we're going to take the opacity right down to something like that and then take the eraser tool or whatever and just fade around 
now it looks like the reflection is in the side of the car. Now you can repeat this and we can just take this image, duplicate the layer. Uh, you should find it easy if you named your layers, but I'm lazy so I can't be bothered. And if you just place them into places around the car, if we get rid of this light at the top, and um, again you want to change it so it matches the actual body of the car. So, and then be sure to go around with the rubber tool at the end to make sure it doesn't stick off the edge because otherwise that ruins the effect that we're going after. It does also make the photo look more believable if there's a reflection in the headlights. So, if we take this area, take it. I'll take that to the top, zoom out, put the car back in. Okay, so for the headlights, it's basically the same as what we did before. Uh, bring the opacity right down, I'd say about 30, 30, 40%. Map it, to, uh, get it to look like the, uh, get it to match the shape of the headlight of the car, so. So we're going after a bulge effect here, which is what the reflection on the car headlight would, should look like. And again, take the razor tool. You can uh, cut it out with the polygon select or feathered edge. It's just quicker to use. So we get a bit closer. You can see this is actually a mesh, so the mesh wouldn't show us a reflection. So if we rub the reflection out. Now I got the reflection in the headlight. Just check that. Actually, take the opacity down. 25% looks better. And do the same in the other headlight. You can just cheat, duplicate the layer, take it over, just get it to not very neatly match, and again rub it out. This should basically be a tutorial on how to use the razor tool on Photoshop. Okay, and once you've done that, it's looking pretty good. So we've got an empty windshield up here. We're going to want to get a reflection onto that or you might not but after this we can merge those layers together so merge and again edit the contrast and put it up to put it up a bit and bring the brightness down okay and to do headlights it's a really simple uh, make a new layer fill it black Render, filter, render, render a lens flare. You're gonna want to use 105 mm prime because that close closer resembles the headlights of a car, in my opinion. You can experiment, mess around, and then set the blending option to screen, and you can position it as you want it and uh, duplicate the layer. Uh, get your eraser tool, make it large. To bring the hardness down and just get rid of any square edges you're left with. Like so. And because these are on separate layers, you can reposition them so they match the headlights perfectly as well as instead of just clicking randomly around to try and get the effect you want. So there we have a night time effect picture on Forza 3 or Photoshop and you can use whatever pictures you want for this kind of method. Just, you can mess around with the contrast and the brightness to see if you can get it looking a bit better. So when you do it, obviously make sure that these edges are much neater than what I've done. This is only a rushed tutorial, but I think that looks pretty good. So yeah, subscribe because I'll be making more tutorials and you can watch my other Forza 3 videos and my other crappy videos that I have on my account. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.